Just now, Busasa was a criminal enterprise and the way contracts were obtained was pure criminality. Now, that's according to former Busasa COO Angelo Agritzi. Well, he says there hasn't been enough accountability by those responsible. Agritzi spoke to JJ Dabani about the state capture inquiry. The people you saw in the safe collecting money. Those are the first ones that should be held accountable. And then we need to take it a step further. There are people, the advisors that helped, the COPLAs, the Kevin Wakefords, the George Papadakis, yeah. all those people, the Numbula Mokanyanis. What about, um, you know, uh, Jacob Zuma himself? What about Dudu Mieni? Yeah. What about all those people? They're just walking scot-free. The way the contracts were obtained, all right, the marketing side of it, that was criminal. Yeah. How it was run in terms of how we provided services yeah. was impeccable. That I can vouch for. So the services that were provided yeah. were value for money. But how the, uh, the contract was obtained, that was... Value for, value value for money, money, but, but uh, surely uh, along the line, if you are bribing so much, yes. you must have inflated prices somewhere. So I, I find it difficult to believe that there was yes. value for money. It's yes. something that has cost one rand, but because you have to bribe someone, you, you made it cost ten rand, well, well, and take the balance and give it to friends and family. Well, you're right, there was six million rand in cash every month going out. But because of the volumes of the business, yeah. remember, it was easy to try and get that, that kind of cash together yeah. to be able to, to pay out, you know, to pack into bags. Yeah. So, yes, there you've got a point, most definitely, yeah. that, yes, the, but what I'm saying to you is that if we promised at that stage yeah. to give 300 grams of meat on a plate to the prisoners, that's yeah. what they got. There was never, ever taking off the plate or stealing, yeah. stealing off the plate.